In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to collect the mob head from every single boss in Minecraft. Using the all mob heads data pack, the Wither, Warden, and Elder Guardian all have the chance to drop mob heads upon being defeated, and my goal is to collect every single one of them and build a museum to display their heads as my trophies. Also, some people might argue that the Warden and the Elder Guardian aren't bosses, but I'm just going to roll with it. Firstly, to start off our new day, I got to do something I promised I would do in the pinned comment of the last episode. So I want to give a quick shout out to the new members, Clear SHC, as well as Mr. Vitamin for becoming members and supporting the channel. You guys can also support me over on Ko-fi, which will be in the description if you guys would like world downloads, as well as the chance to be on this wall, as well as named after villagers in our world. One last thing before we get started, I want to go ahead and get the comment of the day out of the way and here we have a comment from evan holland and he says can you make a mod pack with the mods resource packs and shaders that you use now i don't know when specifically i will be making this video but yes it is absolutely planned if the video is already out you guys will be able to find the mod pack link in the description and if it isn't as soon as it's uploaded i'll make sure to feature it there and you guys can check out a whole video that i'll make on the subject anyways yeah if you guys thought that last episode was big whenever we built that gigantic trial chamber town well you ain't seen nothing yet because we have quite a lot on the table the first thing i want to do is actually get full netherite gear because if we're going to be fighting a bunch of bosses i want to be prepared also speaking of which if you guys have played minecraft bedrock you guys might know a thing or two about formatting codes but i actually just recently installed a mod that allows me to name my tools using formatting codes so i went ahead and made the multiplier a bold green the genesis blue blade is orange we have the choppa and of course we have the lightning mcqueen crocs which just look fantastic in red i don't have enough levels right now you, you actually notice i literally have zero levels that's because it's very expensive to name your items but i do like the flair i think it's super cool and eventually we'll get everything named especially once our gear is super permanent in its netherite form but yeah with that said i'm gonna go ahead and get started jump into the nether and hopefully find as much netherite as i'll need So honestly, that didn't really take much time. Uh, we can go ahead and make, yeah, eight netherite ingots. That's actually kind of insane. Um, and I also think I might have had like some debris laying around here in these chests. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> don't mind the diamonds. I, I, I did some mining off camera. I I'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, so we have eight netherite ingots, meaning that we can do one for each piece of armor and then we can do our main tools uh, being the multiplier Genesis blade. Our diamond shovel isn't really there yet, but the choppa is, so we'll be able to do, you know, maybe I'll try to get a better shovel. And I also do need to get a better helmet. But because we do have these netherite ingots, I do want to turn my gear into netherite, but we don't have any smithing templates or upgrade templates or whatever they're called. And so began a two hour adventure into the nether that I honestly thought would only take like 10 minutes. I had ventured around a ton in the nether before stumbling upon a brand new nether fortress. This wasn't exactly what we needed, but I figured if we're gonna kill the ender dragon in today's episode, we might as well make a pit stop to get some blaze rods. After farming just under 20 of them, I went back into the waste in search of a bastion before coming across my first ever one in this world. Unfortunately, it was a hoglin bastion, which didn't net us many things worth keeping outside a pig step and some ancient debris. Fast forward like 30 minutes and five nether fortresses later, I was reaching my breaking point. Bro, I'm at 1645, negative 552. I have found, I think, five nether fortresses. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose my mind, fellas. As I was calling it quits and mining my way towards home, something miraculous happened. Oh my goodness. Did I just mine into one? Oh my goodness! Holy cow! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, finally. I'm just diving in there, bro. Screw it. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Ugh, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. 
And uh, smoothing template and that kind of stuff. Give me that. Okay. Um. Huh. I was expecting that to be a lot more fast paced and um a little bit more stressful than it was. But we got what we wanted. Oh man, I I'm not sure what it looked like for you guys because the footage would have been edited. But man, to to get away from the Nether with this smithing template, this ingot, this ancient debris, it it took a while. But here we are in the overworld, finally. Let's go ahead and get some netherite gear. Now with us safe at home, it's time for us to bring our world into the netherite era. I duplicated some upgrade templates, applied the netherite ingots to all of our gear, and was even able to get a super good helmet from our enchanting tower. Then I spent a little bit of time naming everything in an anvil so we know what our super good gear is going forward. All right, so now that we have just reached our netherite age here in the world, I think it's about time that we go ahead and test out some of our equipment. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I saved up, uh, yeah, there we go, an ominous bottle from one of the previous episodes. And I think it's about time that we go find a trial chamber, test out some of our gear, and hey, maybe we get lucky and even get a mace that we can use on the ender dragon, which we'll be tackling next. Now, you guys remember the absolute insane amount of materials that you saw in my chest where I had just tons of diamonds and just like just a ton of loot that wasn't there previously. Well, in the last episode, I teased that the key to the trial chamber would be in this building. Our, our whole trial chamber adventure would start in this building. And to give you guys a little bit of a preview of what's been going on in here. Let's go ahead and take this little secret door right here that blends in with the trap doors and we are underground in a network that fully connects to a trial chamber over a thousand blocks away. Oh yeah, baby. We are getting ready for that minecart buff coming in the future because I have made just a gigantic <laughs> railway system all the way over to a trial chamber in my free time. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of ride this all the way to the end and I'll see you guys whenever we're at the trial chamber. All right, we're finally making our way over to the trial chamber. If you guys are curious, this ride, I mean, I don't know, it takes like over three minutes of just kind of hitting the old railway system. If you guys are curious on the cords, we are at 1317, negative 1098. So yeah, it is, it's quite a long ride, but I haven't done anything in this trial chamber. I wanted to dedicate that to this video. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just kind of go at it and then I'll drink an ominous bottle. We'll go at it again and I'll keep you guys up to date on all the loot that we get. So let's get into it. piece of chicken for my I do gotta say that so far my experience as far as loot goes, not necessarily the greatest. Uh, I did all of, oh my goodness. Anyways, I did all of these spawners and I was only able to come away with two total keys. I mean, granted, this trial chamber is pretty small, but um, yeah, let's, let's go and at least see what we get. M maybe, maybe this right here will change my mind. Maybe this vault will change my mind and we'll get something pretty good before we head out and go kill the Ender Dragon. Well, that didn't necessarily change my mind. I can tell you that much. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, the overall loot was uh, pretty bad, but, you know, it is what it is. We went ahead and stretched our legs. We got, you know, pierced 800,000 times with arrows. And, you know, I think we're ready to fight the Ender Dragon after putting our gear to the test. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the minecart and head back home. And with our newfound Ender Pearls and the Blaze Rods that we got earlier, we can head to the end. All right, so we are now back home. Our inventory is a mess. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get things tidy. Uh, probably going to make another chest downstairs to store some valuables in. And uh, yeah, kind of gear us up for that end fight. Because um, I'm going to be honest, the dragon really isn't going to be a whole lot of anything. It's just going to be getting to the stronghold that's going to be the hard part. All right, so I've spent quite a long time getting ready. I went ahead and made some ender chests, and as you can see, I went ahead and threw an anvil in here, mending and unbreaking three. Got some bonus totems in here, as well as some firework rockets. And of course, if you look in our inventory, we have the ender chest, we have a bunch of building blocks, and basically everything we'll need. Um, and yeah, we also have these 19 eyes of ender that we can use, so we should be able to make it to the stronghold with no problem. I'm about to go ahead and go to sleep and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll start looking for it. And so began an adventure I would not soon forget. Of course, it's very exciting that we're going to the end and fighting the dragon, but by far the most exciting part of this whole process was what happened beforehand. Is that a mushroom? No way! Oh my gosh, no way! Oh my gosh, this might not be a big deal to some of you guys. I have never found one of these without using chunk base. In my over a decade of playing this game, I have never found one of these without using like a website or, or, or a seed. Oh my gosh. 2,500 blocks out, dude. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh my days, dude. What are we gonna build here? Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like a kid. Oh my gosh, dude. This bi this biome is massive. All right, so what are, what are the chances that the stronghold is at least under the island? I mean, that would be really cool, right? No way. No way, dude. Is the stronghold actually under? There's no shot. It's, ac it's actually gotta be under the island. Oh my gosh. This, oh my gosh, dude, this is so cool. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, there it is. Fellas, fellas, uh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, we haven't even done what I wanted to do for the episode. And I think this is my favorite episode of the whole series, bro. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so cool. The stuff that we're gonna be able to build here, man. We can like build a brand new base on this. Oh my gosh. We can build a brand new base on the biome above the surface and we'll have super close access to the end portal, dude. Oh baby, here we go. Here we go, dude. We found the portal. Let's see how many, uh, how many eyes of ender we're gonna have to use here. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to use a decent amount. I mean, it's, it's not like I necessarily need to keep these or anything. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, let's go. All right, so let's take a picture of the cords. Yeah, we have a bunch of junk that we don't need. Oh, why did I not bring any wood? Man, I'm really dumb. Why didn't I bring any wood on this journey? That's like the number one thing you bring. Um, Yeah, if there's a library here, I, I don't know if I'll necessarily need wood, Uh, but like not having a crafting table is kind of, eh, I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to not have a crafting table. So I'm going to look around for a library and uh, we'll grab. Oh, there we go. And we'll grab some of the planks from here. Plus, I'm pretty sure we can get like a trim or something as well. So that'll be kind of nice. But mainly, mainly I'm kind of here for the uh, for the planks. And I guess we'll probably like grab some of these books as well. Uh, ooh, efficiency four. OK, and we got the eye armor trim. I'll, I'll put that in the inner chest. Um. And yeah, we'll, we'll keep the rest of the stuff here because I am going to want to grab all these books. All right. So, yeah, I'm just going to put these Eyes of Ender in my Ender chest. We'll put that up there. Um, yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's make sure we get our building blocks. We have excess totems. We have a bunch of arrows. Let's go ahead and put that there. Um, yeah, th I think I think we're good to go. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in this portal, kill the dragon. Uh, we'll grab an elytra. I'm not necessarily going to farm for shulkers just yet. We'll do that at some point, but not in this episode. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Yippee! 
Well, there goes the dragon. And thanks to the data pack that I have installed, we actually got the head directly from killing. Oh. Huh. Well, hopefully that doesn't despawn. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully it's just in some unloaded chunk. Eh, should I risk it? I don't want the dragon egg disappearing, man. Eh, I'm going. Oh, dragon egg. Where are you, buddy? I'm at zero, zero. Where is the damn thing? Let me turn my shaders off so it's a little bit easier. Holy gamma. There it is. <laughs> really didn't want to miss out on uh, on the dragon egg. And we also got a little bit of XP as well. So let's go ahead and gather this up. And there we go. Thank you. Now what I'm going to do is uh, put up a few things over at the house. And then we're going to go right back to the end. Because I don't want to do the rest of this video without at least having an elytra for a little bit. So back into the end, I went looking for an elytra and at least one in-city full of shulker boxes. There's not much I can say about this part since in-city raiding is pretty boring overall. But just know that I walked around, I found a city, raided it, and got some decent loot. All right, so I've done a little bit of grinding and we have, uh, no, no, no. And we have this shulker box right here, plus these, which will turn into 15 shulker boxes. So that should be a shulker box for every type of die, which is pretty good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and head on home. And yeah, this is a pretty good loot haul, I'd say. Man, I'm telling you guys, I think it rains more in this world than any other Minecraft world I've ever played. Anyways, little update. Um, I got home. I put up a lot of our stuff. I went ahead and colored this shulker box, called it the rucksack. This is basically going to be uh, the shulker that I just kind of put all of our junk into. Aside from that, though, I think it is about time that we go take a look at... Uh, I guess probably an ocean monument. I kind of want to cool down. You know, I don't want to mess with the warden yet. I don't want to mess with the wither. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab some emeralds and I think I'm going to need a compass as well. And I'm pretty sure that the villagers will sell ocean monument maps. So I'm going to go ahead and make a handful of compasses. I'm going to head on over to the trial chamber village and uh, yeah, we'll grab a few and then we'll go uh, loot one of those. So I went on over to our newly made cartographer village, grabbed a map from one of the lovely yeah. residents, and headed off in the direction of the ocean monument. Now the goal of course is to get an elder guardian's mob head, and according to the data pack we have around a 50% chance to get one to drop, so it isn't guaranteed. I went ahead and took a little break on this beach here to craft up some doors so I have some air pockets, then dove into the monument. It didn't take too long, but I was getting lost inside the monument quite frequently, but after killing two other elder guardians and finally finding the last one luck smiled down upon me after getting my elder guardian head i started my trip back towards home with the goal in mind to get ready to fight the warden now i want to do this as carefully as possible so i'm going to need an iron golem army with me in case things go south as they'll be able to distract the warden if i need to fly away to get to safety i went ahead and crafted up a netherite hoe and started a mini pumpkin farm out by the trade boat this won't be permanent but just something i can use for now i also spent this time tweaking my armor set and elytra wings i swapped my armor from gold trims to diamond trims and even trimmed and dyed my elytra to fit the look of my netherite armor at this point i was also super low on iron after building that massive railway system to the trial chamber so i spent some time collecting tons of ore in order to build up our iron golems as pumpkins weren't the only thing i was low on afterwards i also went back to upgrading my gear a bit by putting sharpness 5 and unbreaking on my genesis blade as well as naming our shovel and slapping mending on there too after my iron was smelted and i I harvested our pumpkins from the farm, I was ready to take on the warden. So I've been preparing for quite a while and there are phantoms outside. So I'm just going to kind of chill in here. Um, the rucksack is now filled with everything we're really going to need for iron golems. We have our blings right here so that we can fly around. And the plan now is to hopefully find a mountain and then dig directly under and find an ancient city. So, um... Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to take, but um, let's go ahead and take flight and see where it takes us. I'm not entirely sure how you really go about finding ancient cities, but wouldn't this gigantic hill classify as something an ancient city could generate under? I mean, it says it's just a forest, but I will dig around just to see what exactly is going on. I mean, I don't really know how I can find one necessarily quickly, um, but I just saw online that it's like, hey, if there's like this big 
you know, protrusion going up of land, then chances are an ancient city can generate there. So, all right, here's a cave. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, dude. I do want to get, um, what is it called? Sneak, swift sneak or whatever. That's kind of like the best piece of loot you can get from one of these places. The unfortunate part is that I don't have any wool. Now that I'm thinking about it, we probably can grab some. Yeah, there's some over here. Unfortunately though, I don't have any shears or anything. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do, I can just grab one of these. There we go, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking with my brain. Okay, there's a catalyst right here. I think this is where we do battle. So hopefully I don't alert anything else around here. I don't think I'll be able to. Okay, so just to make sure that this runs as swimmingly as possible, I have done a ton of tests and I've determined that it takes roughly 30 iron golem hits to kill a warden. Now with the data pack that we're running, I have to get the final hit on the warden if I want to get the actual mob head, meaning that high key it might be best if it's only one golem at a time and i just heal them over time with an ingot um but yeah we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see how this goes um but i really am gonna need to get the final hit on the warden to actually get credit uh and actually get the drop to happen so let's go ahead and spawn this guy in hopefully kind of lead him over to where these guys are just crawled out but i don't know where Let's go ahead and let these guys loose. Hopefully he sees them before he sees me, because if he aggros me, it's it's kind of over. I mean, I'll need to run away, you know what I mean? Okay, hopefully one of the golems will spot him soon. He should. Okay, that's three golems. That kind of complicates things, but we'll see what we can do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they're, they're kind of going crazy on him. I'm just going to have to guess. Please, please. Oh, did they get the... Oh, they got the last hit on him. Oh, it was a waste. Okay, okay, okay. We can spawn another. We can spawn another. This is really risky, but we can spawn another. Uh, Okay, he spawned up top, I think, up there. Yeah, he did. Okay, golems. Golems, do your jobs. Oh, he just killed one. You don't see me. You don't see me. Come on, drop down at him. Okay. Okay, there they go. Oh, this is risky. This is really risky. Oh, does he see me? I think he wants me. But he can't get me. Oh, yes, he can. Oh! Oh, did I kill him? Did I kill him? I got the last hit. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I just spawned another. I just spawned another. I need to get out. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh, I got the last hit. Oh, I can't believe we got the final hit. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is the warden mob head checked off the list. And we were able to get two skull catalysts because we killed two of them. Oh my days. Okay. And we didn't use a totem. I'm actually surprised. I'm pretty sure... The warden did hit us at one point. Um, yeah, okay, uh, before we leave, I, kn I know, I know, I know it's risky, I know. But before we leave, I really want to get another swift sneak book. I, I, oh, it's so annoying being able to, like, sneak at this speed. I think I'm just gonna kind of fly around the ancient city and press my luck a little bit because I don't want to leave here without it. Okay, that is enough. We have a swift sneak two. And then we have two Swift Sneak 1s, which we can combine for another two, and then combine it into a three. Let's get the heck out of here. I never want to see another Ancient City again, I'm going to be honest. Freedom. Freedom. Get me out of here. Oh my goodness, dude. Home sweet home. All right, so... We have our warden head now, so let's go and go inside and, and take a look at uh, at the progress. So we have our dragon head right here. We have our egg. We have the warden head and we have the elder guardian. Now, basically all we're missing at this point is the wither. 
And the way that this data pack works, if I go and pull up my advancements and pull up the heads collection, the Wither has an RNG chance to drop uh, a bunch of different types. So if we had, where, where are the, where's the bosses? Here we go. So if we take a look right here, we can see that there is a Wither Boss, Invulnerable Wither Boss, Blue Wither Boss, and Invulnerable Blue Wither Boss. I think for the sake of this video, we are going to just get one of these guaranteed heads from our boss fight with the Wither. And then after that, we'll kind of add on to the museum as we get other ones. Uh, so I think I'm just going to rock with any of these that I get, and then we'll fill in the exhibit as we go on. Because all that we really need is just one central mob head for the museum, and we'll just add on later. With all that done, however, I do want to see about upgrading our pants. We don't really have that many levels, though. Eight enchantment cost? In this economy, dude? Oh my goodness. Okay, we, ooh, we're we going to need some levels for Swift Sneak on the pants. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is um, we are going to need some extra levels so that we can put Swift Sneak on our leggings. And we still need Wither Skeleton Skulls for the sake of spawning the Wither in. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the nether and just kind of farm up a bunch of mobs for a while. Hopefully being able to get some uh, Wither Skulls because we already got one earlier. Uh, and hopefully we can go and grab a few others and hopefully by then we'll have enough levels to kind of, you know, build up our gear and then we can go ahead and kill the wither and then build the museum. All right, so I'd say we made it out pretty well. I ended up coming away with around eight Wither Skeleton Skulls in 25 minutes. Uh, we're level 26, so hopefully we'll be able to enchant our leggings without any issue. And uh, yeah, we have enough skulls for the museum, plus we'll be able to get the one directly from the Wither. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the overworld and enchant my pants and get ready for this Wither fight. Hey, fella. Oh, okay. One more time. One more time. Come here. Hi -ya! Absolutely sniped. All right, I just got everything put up. Let's go ahead and see if we can get these enchanted. 18? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna go mine some quartz in the nether like really quick. I'll be right back. With the final bit of armor finally finished, it's time to prepare for the wither fight. So I went back home, got a few supplies, and decided to head right down the member mineshaft to dig out a tunnel to fight our final boss for the video. Alright, so I'm not entirely sure if this is a long enough hallway. Uh, but you know, we 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 kind of just kind of just go for it. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the Java Wither isn't really all that bad, even though I haven't like properly fought it without golems and like well years. <laughs> That's basically the only way I've ever killed the Wither. Uh, but yeah, we'll just kind of throw all that down, eat ourselves a steak. Let's make sure we get our bow here, and I'll go and take a bite of golden apple as we start. But this shouldn't be much. Okay, yeah, that <laughs> that that wasn't much at all, dude. I mean, I, I didn't even get the withering effect the entire fight. So, uh, yeah, the the the, the wither in Java is kind of a glorified deep slate drill at this point. But we did get the invulnerable wither head, so we got one of the unique looking ones, not one that just looks like a wither skeleton skull. So that's really cool. So we have one of the four that he can drop, which is pretty sick. Um, we also got another star, which we actually might display uh, in the museum as well. We'll just have to see. But yeah, okay. So that is all four of the Minecraft bosses defeated. Now we can go ahead and find a place to start building ourselves a museum. All right, so I've done quite a bit of planning as well as some resource gathering, and I have come to the conclusion that I want to build the museum in this little area right here, which does mean we will need to chop this tree down, but I figured it would be a pretty good area because it gives us more of a reason to go in this direction. Currently, we don't really have anything built in this direction. It kind of just skews off into this direction and then back towards here. So I think it'd be really cool. We can take the road 
code over here and connect it over to this side where we're going to have the museum. And then, of course, in future episodes, we'll probably start branching out into this area, which I'm not entirely sure what we'll build there, but it will have to be done eventually. But uh, yeah, I've never really done a museum build, so apologies if it looks bad. I know a lot of you guys do like some of the builds that I make in this world. I don't really think I'm all that fantastic, but I try. Uh, and this one is definitely outside my comfort zone. I've literally never made anything like it in my entire life. So apologies if it looks weird, but as they say, it's what's on the inside that counts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this build. As you can see, I have tons of different stuff in these shulker boxes right here uh, for the build. And uh, yeah, hopefully it turns out pretty nice. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the build is complete. Well, sort of. Um, see, I had some complications when building this thing, and uh, I, I... So you know the wither head that we got? Um, well, I had placed it wrong, and I broke it to replace it again on that fence, and it kind of got burned up in the lava. So we, we, we kind of need another wither head. But for the time being, I feel like the exhibit looks fine. But here, of course, is where our wither trophy is going to go, if I had one. Uh, then we also have the ender dragon exhibit where I used an actual shulker box over there. Uh, we have the egg. We have some end crystals as well as the head. Uh, over here, I have like some side exhibits. So this is where I put our first diamond that we got in episode one. I also put our first nether star with some of the end banners. And then over there from whenever we went to that pyramid um, a few episodes ago. Over here is a replica of our first ever diamond armor set. Of course, you know, we uh, kind of turned ours into netherite, but I made a little recreation. And then this is also the like Pharaoh's guard armor that we got from the pyramid as well. Over here is our little warden exhibit, which I might add a little bit onto. And uh, speaking of adding onto, this is the Elder Guardian exhibit, which this is a really fat trident. That's kind of what it's supposed to be. But we do have the Elder Guardian head. Uh, and just as a little bonus for those of you guys that watch all the way to this part of the video, uh, put uh, th the word silly Billy in your comment down below. And uh, if you do that, uh, some of the people that do that in the comments, I will actually put a tropical fish in this water and name it after you. So as long as you feature the word silly Billy in your comment, just to show that you watched all the way to this point of the video, I'll make sure that I put a lot of you guys in this water right here. Pretty much as many people as commented it or as many tropical fish as I can find. I'll try to get a few of you guys in there. And uh, yeah, guys, so that is the museum for all of the mob heads and everything that we have done this episode. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching all the way up into this point of course at the beginning of next episode i'll go ahead and connect this road on over here and we'll also kill another wither so i can fix the exhibit in there and then we'll throw a bunch of tropical fish inside of the elder guardian one that is named after you guys but guys thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it this episode took so long to record so i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys next time